I have an image that came out while I was shuffling the cards. And uh, what I see is, I see this nice little cottage. There's a woman inside and I see like um, a child, maybe two ch children looking out the window. And it's, it's raining outside. It's like a nice, you know, um, spring type of a drizzle. Um, and they're looking outside and there's a man outside. And I'm assuming the, the, the man is the father or the husband in that situation. And he's planting flowers. He's planting. He's like. Um, he's planting flowers in the around the perimeter of the house, near the base of the house, and he's just you know distracting himself with that. And the kids and the wife, they're looking out the window and they're looking at what he's doing. It's almost like they want to join him, or they want to you know him to come in from the rain and to be with them. So I feel like there's this barrier, but um, what I, I was getting is I, I feel almost like there's some situation in your life that you're neglecting. There might be people in your life that you're neglecting, okay? And I almost feel like you're neglecting their emotional needs. You might also be neglecting, um, might, you, you might be burying yourself at work, trying to avoid a situation, trying to avoid feeling things, trying to avoid the emotions, trying to avoid, I, I just don't see you focusing on the right things. And um, first of all, the spread looks really good. You have two aces. We have here the Ace of Cups. This is the big love, okay? Ace of Cups. It's in the upright position. And I feel like, look at the, the way the cards fell out. Ace of Cups, somebody's giving you love. Somebody wants you to notice them. Somebody's giving you very, I feel it's very, very unconditional love. They're holding out their heart. They're giving you this big chalice. And I feel like you're busy working and your back is turned to them and you're not really seeing the situation for what it is. You're not seeing their presence. You're not feeling the love or you're, you're refusing to face it and you're turning your back and you're focusing on other things. Um, so that's the first thing. You also have here the Ace of Wands. This is somebody that is very passionate about you, okay? Very strong sexual chemistry, very strong attraction. And uh, it's in the reverse. It's almost like you don't trust it. It's almost like, <clears throat> I, I guess like from your end, I don't want to be bothered. Um, it, the, the intensity is too strong. And whenever I, I see the wand suit, especially for a... Um, a non-fire sign that I'm reading for, it usually indicates a situation where there's a lot of power struggle, dominance, and dealing with someone who's very individualistic, someone who's very uh, strong will, someone who's very headstrong, and they can seem like a little bit of a threat to you because you can't contain them, right? So I feel like there's somebody in your life that exhibits this energy where you feel strong chemistry towards them. But at the same time, there is a sense of perceived threat. If we get into a relationship, there's going to be a lot of power struggle. There's going to be a lot of, um, a lot of conflict. And ultimately, you're very fearful that they don't need me. You know, they don't need me. If they want to leave, then they're going to leave. And it will leave me very brokenhearted. And so I'm going to do the safe thing. I'm going to tend to these flowers they don't talk back to me. They don't, you know, uh, do anything to ruffle my feathers. They don't, they, they need me. I water them. I nurture them. They'll grow and I don't have to worry about it. So I feel like you're taking a safe route just to preserve your, just to maintain the status quo, just to preserve your control in a situation. And so what I have here is um, there's a situation where you are stubbornly clinging on to your routine, clinging on to the safe choice, singing, clinging on to the familiarity, and clinging on to the predictability of it. I have you in the center, 
we have here the queen of coins, someone who is very financially established. You might have children that you really care for. You might be, you know, saving up heavily for the children um, to want to le leave a legacy to your children. Um, wanting to, you know, save up for their college funds, save up for their education, save up to send them to um, summer camp. You're making a lot of sacrifices, I feel, financially or in a practical way to do all these things because you want to nurture and um, you want them to have the best. But at the same time, in, in the process of being so fixated on the financial uh, situation, you might be neglecting the emotional needs, okay? It's almost like, you know, um, having a kid and wanting your kid to succeed so badly, you enroll them in like um, soccer practice, um, guitar lessons, piano lessons, gymnastics. So their day is full of activities and they never get to be a child. They never get to enjoy time with their friends. They never, um, they're, they're constantly under pressure and they never feel like what they do is good enough. And they never f feel like they can have a normal childhood. Okay. So if this resonates, be wary about that and, and, you know, try to moderate. And as much as we, you know, love our children and we want them to have the best. And I feel like some of you are compensating. You want them to have all these opportunities that you might not have had when you were young. And you want them to be competitive too when they get out into the working environment so that they can stack up their resume, so that they can, you know, have a lot of skills under their wings. And so you're doing all of, you're making all of, all of these uh, sacrifices as well to really boost them up. But I feel like they just want time from you. They, they want... They want that emotional connection. They want you to be emotionally available. They don't want to be shuttled around, you know, from one extracurricular activity to the next. And then over time, the, the parent-child relationship can feel like a chore. It can feel like you're the chauffeur busing, you know, your passenger from one place to the next. And it ceases to be a heartfelt connection between, you know, parent and child. Okay. Um, so that's what I'm, I'm feeling here. I feel like we need to pay a little bit more attention to the emotional needs of people around us. And we have to be a little bit more, I guess, like you feel like you know what's best for them, but you haven't asked them what is best for them. And it's really important to have these conversations and not just assume things, okay? Um, they might feel a little bit like you're just, you know, passing me off to other people for an hour. You're just passing me off to the piano teacher for an hour. You're passing me off to the soccer coach for an hour. You're passing me off to, you know, um, you're pawning me off like over the summer. You're enrolling me in, um, I don't know, space camp is what I'm sensing. <laughs> Um, space camp, some type of a Boy Scout even. Um, and they feel like they're, they're just, you know, shuttled around and you're just pawning them off. That's what it feels like from that person's perspective. And I feel like you're not aware of it. I'm also seeing there is somebody in your life. This is a love relationship where they're they're kind of like you know tapping you on the back okay and they're like look at me i really want to spend time with you and i feel like you might have turned them down for whatever reason timing i feel like you care about this person but for whatever reason you said oh i don't have time i'm, I'm busy and they come back again and you're like oh i don't have time this time i'm sorry and I feel that they stop coming because I, I just feel like they feel like you're not very busy and they feel like you might not want to be with them. And so they stop coming around. They might be pursuing other options elsewhere or they just silently, it's like suffering in silence, holding this unrequited love for you. It's actually very sad. 
I feel like some of you are in a love relationship and it's no longer it's it's like it's no longer serving its purpose you you and your partner are just going through the motions and i i feel like there there is you know total lack of incompatibility or lack of compatibility to begin with we have here the two of cups it's in the reverse so it means that it's you and the other person it's very difficult to see eye to eye with the other person i'm seeing a lot of water energy so i'm uh, seeing like water signs pisces cancer scorpio and I feel like you're taking the lead and doing everything, making the executive decisions without uh, consulting this person. And so they feel almost like they don't matter. You know, they feel like either neglected or they feel like they don't matter. And I feel like you, this person still has a great deal of love for you. Um, but you're sensing as well that... It's like you're going through the motions. You're hanging on or staying in this relationship because it's stable, because it's familiar, because it is something that you you have built up, okay? And sunk cost is something that fixed signs are very, very aware of. And it's really hard for fixed signs to change the direction once you have invested, you know, first of all, invest the time, the resources, especially for you guys, the time and resources and the emotions into something all of those things are sunk cost. And when we have invested a lot and the sunk cost is just great, it's hard for us to cut ties and move forward because we feel like we can't really uh, recoup our losses. And I feel like that's what's happening. Everything seems to me like it's, it's done in a very measured, practical way. And at this point, you're still working at it. You're still doing it because of so much sunk cost. And you don't really see a way out. And so things can be fixed, I feel. But I, I'm, I'm sensing that at this point, you're just, you know, going through it on your own. And you don't have that discussion with the other person. And so they feel like they don't matter. I feel like for some of you, there has been disappointment regarding, you know, love relationships, a, a situation that um, you've invested a lot of time in for whatever reason. It's on its last leg. It's like wobbly. Okay. I have here the tower. And right on top is the Ace of Cups. This can be coming to the sudden realization that somebody is coming to you and they're exclaiming, you know, I care about you. I love you. Why don't you see it? Or it could be a situation where we start to realize who we want to be with and who we don't want to be with. And then we start to realize, you know, once again, that, uh, that level of sunk cost. I've invested too much time in this relationship. And... Yes, there's another person out there that you feel like you want to begin anew with, but you're not really budging. Um, there's a lot of stubbornness that I'm feeling from this, um, this spread. And I feel like... I'm sensing as well. There is a situation, it's like a, a third party type of a situation. I definitely see three people. And I feel like you're oscillating between the two people. And what I feel is it's almost like you want to start things with somebody new, but you're still clinging on to the old relationship. And I also feel like you're doing the calculations in your head. If I stray from this relationship, it's going to hurt possibly, you know, my partner and my kids. And so, whereas if I, you know, leave that, that family and go with a new relationship, only two people will be happy. So you're, you're doing the, the, the calculations, you're doing the, the math. And you want to make the decision that makes the most amount of people happy. 
but you also, in a way, don't want to be shortchanged. So you're facing a very heavy dilemma I'm feeling here. And I feel like there is somebody that you really like and you try to, you know, avoid them. You try to ignore the feelings and you try to kind of um, just go through your day. Just distract yourself with other things. But they keep coming into the picture. And every time you deal with them and they, they come into the picture, they let you know that they're available and they let you know that they like you and they, they keep seeking you out. Okay, so this person right here. And what I'm feeling is you're, you're definitely tempted, but the communication between the two of you, it seems, you know, Knight of Swords, they're not the most delicate, compassionate people, especially when they talk. They're very blunt. They get their point across. They come and go. And so they might not seem like the most stable type of person for you. You might perceive that they're not entirely stable. You might question their motives. You might question their intentions and their feelings for you. And I also feel like this is a situation that was never able to get off the ground. And I feel like they're coming towards you, wanting to, you know, we have here the, the wilted three of cups, and then we have the two of cups, which is a new soulmate type of a connection, where the two of you are working towards a common purpose. And then I'm also seeing as well, you're not ready to receive this person, but you're also not ready to let them go. And so you're sending a little bit of a mixed message towards this person. And that creates a lot of confusion. But I feel like they're always there. They're, they're, they're available. They trust you. They sense the soulmate type of a connection with you. And they definitely want more. They want to pursue things. They definitely want more. So it's just from your end what you want to do. And I feel like the reading hinges upon your own free will. And it's just a matter of looking up from what you're doing and looking around you. It's raining outside. There are people inside that want you to be with them, that want you to, you know, cuddle up next to a fireplace, uh, read them a bedtime story, there's a lot of love in that house. But for whatever reason, you're focused on your garden, you're focused on your plants, and you're out there even when it's drizzling and it's cold and it's uncomfortable. And what for? So I feel like, I feel as well, um, there's a work situation. I, I see many of you um, applying for new jobs, okay? Uh, looking around you, scoping out new opportunities, and I also see like trying to improve yourself by uh, applying for skills building workshops, okay? So like um, getting a certificate, learning a new craft, learning something that will help you professionally. So you're not just, you know, learning like ceramics and pottery just for fun. You're doing something that I feel adds to your value, adds to your marketability, adds to your uh, career path, which is great. So some of you are doing that. And I also feel like um, some of you have recently broken up with a relationship partner and you're single and you're out there just wanting to have fun and people know that you're single and they're coming at you which is nice. And I definitely see water sign, earth sign, air, um, not so much an air sign. So water signs and other earth signs. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and then earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like you're, you're just a lot more focused on you. You're just a lot more focused on what you need to do on the practical end and not really paying attention to, you know, um, the new people coming in. If you have somebody that is constantly around you, I feel like there is a very strong soul connection. It's undeniable. We have here the moon. And the moon indicates, you know, having psychic dreams, uh, thinking about the person, and then they show up on your doorstep. Um, thinking about a person, getting an email from them, or getting a text message from them. And I also feel like it's a very beautiful, um, supportive type of an energy between you and the other person where the two of you really nurture each other's 
um, it's like something that is worth exploring because it transcends time. That's what it feels to me. This is a very dreamy type of a, uh, a card. And it's so dreamy that you might not trust it. Okay. Um, I'm seeing this little crab in the corner. So the crab is climbing up the tree to join everybody that's involved in this magic. And the crab has gotten out of the water. So maybe being with this person feels a little bit like you're outside of your element. But you're following your heart or you should follow your heart and approach this person or at least reciprocate and, and explore the relationship and see where things go. Okay. This can also be that imagery, you know, stop uh, tending to your flowers and come back to where the people are because somebody needs you. So I'm, I'm feeling here, there's great attraction that you don't trust. Being with somebody makes you feel like you're outside of your element. So you don't really want to do that. I'm also sensing as well, there is social family expectations as well. What are my friends going to think? What are my family members going to think? What are the people around me going to think? So it could be family, co-workers, workplace, politics. Uh, what are they going to think if I, you know, go ahead with it? So there's a lot of things here that are kind of circling around you that's limiting your your freedom of movement, your ability to really exercise your free will. But at the end of the day, you're the one that has to, you know, live your life. And so it would be in your best interest to really, you know, look up from what you're doing and to really think about what your heart desires and really think about, you know, uh, who is waiting for you, okay? Um, I hope the reading is helpful, Taurus. I'm going to pull out two more cards here to clarify the tower. What's going on with this tower situation? I have here the sun. And this is career success and all of that. And I have here the king of wands. Both of these cards indicate to me taking a big risk, okay? And um, I also feel like going with your passion, going for whatever it is that you want. For some of you, this could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, that's bringing in a new perspective in your life, that's bringing in as well new career opportunities. And so the tower indicates some major, major change here. And it's like the compatibility might not be in a situation, but there is intense um, attraction, intense opportunities for newness, for new growth as well that somebody is bringing into the picture. It could be a person bringing in, you know, new opportunities. It could be a, a person that's really stirring your passion. And I feel like it's very undeniable. So I'm going to leave it at that. I hope the reading is helpful for you guys.